Hey Mike here, aka The Cloud Coach. Thank you for watching this Terraform crash course this far along. Really appreciate it, appreciate it if you're at this part and you've uh, come all the way through to the end. I hope you've learned a lot. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to we're actually going to destroy all of our work. Um, but what does our what does our work actually look like? Well, if we actually run Terraform state, uh, I believe it's list. Yes, list. I can't remember what it's always list and, list and show. List will actually go out and say, here's all your resources. Here's what you have. So if we do AWS, if we do Terraform uh, state show AWS instance, okay, web server, it will actually give us information on it. Okay, so here we can see everything. Look at this. We can see the AMI. We can see the ARN. We can see the availability zone it's in, which is what I typoed earlier. How many CPU cores it has. Um, do we have, well, I saw a password here. Look, get password data, no. Um, the, the security group that it's in, which is what we had earlier. We created that earlier, right? If you remember the subnet ID, we created that also. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually blow away all of our work with a simple command, Terraform destroy. This is gonna, again, update state. And then it's going to say, well, here are all the things that exist. I've confirmed they exist in AWS. Are you sure you want to destroy them? All 10 things. We'll say yes. And I'll be back in a second when that's complete. Okay, so that says destroy complete resources, 10 destroyed. So we have blown everything away. So now if we look at the Terraform state list, we don't have anything. We've blown everything away. That's okay. This is very, very useful. So as you've seen throughout this whole crash course, it's very quick to get Terraform talking to AWS, initializing everything, validating your code, applying your code, planning it out first, and then of course, creating a VPC, creating it as a gateway, creating a subnet, creating a route table, a NACL, a security group, an EIP, an SSH key, and then dynamically fetching the very latest AMI from Canonical for Ubuntu each and every time you do a Terraform apply. And then we've got ourselves an EC2 instance, we've got the public IP of it, and we've SSH'd in. Now, that file can just be given to a friend, and with a little bit of changes, which again we'll cover in another course, he can just set a few flags, run it, get a whole dev environment up running in his AWS account. He can do his work, and then just like you saw then, with a, with a, with a Terraform destroy, he can actually just get rid of everything instantly. All right, that is the Terraform crash course for 2019. I've been Mike. I've been the Cloud Coach. Thanks very much for listening. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Leave any comments regarding uh, what it is you think could have been done better, what it is you'd like to see, future videos, and so on and so forth, and I will jump on them straight away and get them done for you guys. Thanks very much. See you soon.